When I was a beginner in Untitled Boxing Game, I would constantly get beaten up by stronger players who had more experience and more knowledge and better styles than me. I didn't know any styles, I didn't know how to play, I didn't know how to dodge, how to properly block, I didn't know any of this. And so for that exact reason today, you currently have a problem. And that problem is that you constantly keep getting beat up by higher level players with more knockdowns. You've tried every single style in the game, even the new ones, and you still can't figure it out. So let me help you with that with these five beginner friendly tips which will improve your gaming experience in Untitled Boxing Game. First tip in Untitled Boxing Game is picking the right style. So how do you find the style that you can really get along with and how they can play? Here are some of the suggested styles that I've personally used and I guarantee you'll get good with. Some of the styles that I very much recommend if you can get your hands on them would be counter style, corkscrew style, hands down style, and slugger style in the best case scenario. Every other style might work pretty well other than that, but these are the main styles you want to stick with in order to get the best experience. Tip number 4 in this game, as you can clearly see here, is dodging. Dodging is very, very crucial, and you must make sure to time it right, otherwise you'll get caught up in a flurry of attacks from the opponent. So, how do you dodge properly? Proper dodging comes from d combining your dodges and blocking at the same time. You need to implement both, otherwise you will struggle in this game. When you can take a hit, take a hit. You don't always have to block. When you can dodge, dodge but when you can't dodge or when you can't block a hit it's okay another fun little fact for you guys is if your shield is about to go down like mine is here i won't keep blocking because if i block and he breaks my guard i'm going to take way more punches than i would instead of just taking that one shot always watch out for that the third tip in this game is pacing now pacing is very crucial being unpredictable is one of the key things you can implement in order to truly take your skills to the next level changing your timing is really simple it all starts with your punches essentially throwing different punches each time you attack or different combinations of punches each time you attack what i mean by that is instead of constantly charging your m2 or hitting with your overhand you can use some m1s like he ex see i can just spam m1s he expects me to land the overhand but i didn't use it another thing about this is you can easily le read players this way he, as i can already tell when he's gonna strike and counter back but he does not know when i'm gonna strike because my timing is unique tip number two would be stay calm and never panic even if you are lower HP even if you've taken some serious damage or punches always keep your cool and keep your head on your shoulders because this is going to make your opponent slip up and you're gonna find an opportunity to hit them and get that victory so fellas never panic it's all right if you took some damage it's okay and don't panic and start rushing them for no reason like this guy's trying because it will not end well and the best tip in my opinion the favorite tip the tip that's very crucial for everything if you align it with every Everything I've taught you today you will be unstoppable and that tip is your stamina conservation as you can see I am NOT going to throw as much punches as I can because I'll run out of stamina and it gives him a chance to counter me it gives him a chance to throw an ultimate on me so generally speaking watch your stamina watch your guard stamina and watch your overall stamina because if you run out of stamina while hitting and by the way dashing does take a considerable amount of stamina so I suggest to generally be very much aware of this bonus secret tip for all of you who've made it this far in the video is to watch your opponent's stamina the most you try to trick them into using their stamina try to trick them into dashing or dodging and if you can make them use up their stamina your chances of hitting them will be way higher if you have enjoyed this video or found these tips useful please do leave a like on this video so algorithm shows it to other people and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and peace out peeps